away at Rugby Park on Sunday? I absolutely would not bet against it. Kilmarnock have effectively secured a fifth place finish in the SPL after last night's draw with Scottish Cup finalist Motherwell. Paul Mitchell was at Fir Park. Hutchison plays the ball inside. It's on to Stephen Craigan. Craigan on to Jennings. It's on to Steve Jones. Jones up against Fowler. Fowler cuts inside and sends the shot on. And the opening goal comes for Steve Jones. Eight minutes played, he cut inside Fowler and cracked the shot past the goalkeeper. They've taken a slight nick from Tim Clancy. Stuart McCall wanted a better performance from his players after the outing at Dundee United. Here he watches them defend. Obama Yang goes up. Hamill and the goalkeeper make sure it goes no further. In search of his first Kilmarnock goal, denied by Darren Randolph. Hately dwells on the ball too long, robbed by Bryson, choices left and right, comes out wide, Eremenko is there, Eremenko just stabs it at the goalkeeper, and turned away by Darren Randolph, straight shot from the Finn that time. Penny Shields looking for his first win as Kilmarnock boss. Humphrey. On to Saunders. Humphrey, he's got men in the middle. Gets the cross in, Jennings, but it won't count, the flag's up. Steve Jennings came through, thought he'd scored for the second time this season, but denied by the offside flag. Adam Anker with another delightful flick. Silva trying to find space, this is a terrific match. Played out wide onto Dayton. Dayton cuts inside, tries the shot. Two straight at the ever present, Darren Randolph. Great run from Gary Hay, made some space for his striker. A little too heavy that time, Motherwell. Eremenko plays the ball back through, Dayton denied. Good sliding challenge by Saunders. That's not too clever from the goalkeeper, though. Silva. On to Eremenko, weighs up his options, rarely wastes the pass, doesn't waste that one, Dayton sends it across, and Aubameyang equalises for Kilmarnock. Three minutes gone in the second half, and Willie Aubameyang gets his first Kilmarnock goal. Great play from Eremenko and Dayton, and a simple slide from the striker. The defence was scrambling all the way. Scully has played well. On to Dayton. Up against Hamill and shown the inside. Eremenko away from Craig and play says the referee and Dayton just flashes it wide. And Stephen Craig and sticking close to the front. Referee was close by, didn't think that was a free kick. So just adding to the good passes on the pitch. Eremenko. Oh, that's clever from Eremenko. Real chance now for Kamarik Silva. Turned away by Darren Randolph. And Hitley touches it on. Saunders slips. Silva gets in there. Tell wants it. The back heel is delightful onto Bryson. Deflection from Hutchison. And over the top from Darren Randolph. Another good passage of play in Fur Park. Great back heel. Bryson read it. Cracked the shot. Hutchison. Sacrificed himself and Randolph made sure that only he landed in the net, not the ball. Bison wins it again. Silva having a much better second half than the first. Kelly chips the ball in deep. Obama Yang. Well, he got up really well, hung in the air, didn't get the power he needed, and in the end, it was a rather easy save for Darren Randolph. Ball out, fired it, Obama Young knocks it away. Jennings after it. Jennings will get it back. Right foot ball, Sean Hutchison waits for it, the header, Bell, terrific stop. John Sutton was lingering. Bell had to get this, pushed it away, took it away from the path of John Sutton. So, on to Bryce in this game, still crackling along, 
Mbappe on the overlap, chance for the winner, turned away by Darren Randolph. Great overlapping play by the fullback, and he did test the goalkeeper. Alexei Yermenko looked to be handing out some leaving gifts at the end of the match. He had a fair climb to do so as well. He suspended uh, at the weekend, so this his last game for Kilmarnock, you would assume, before possibly heading for Real Mallorca uh, in the summer. Do we owe Mixu uh, a vote of thanks, Pat, for allowing us to watch Yermenko for a season in Scotland? Uh, absolutely. I mentioned before, I thought Jelvic was uh, the best technical player in Scotland. He's got a good shout uh, this season. I think he'd been, he's been absolutely superb, a joy to watch. And really fitted in with what Kamala were trying to do there. I really like, you know, tal has got a, a, a good bit of talent as well. Bryson, I like a lot as a player. But the fact that he's gone, eramenko has gone, Conor Samuel went during the season, it's going to be a tough one for Kamala uh, next season. Certainly was a period this season where they were a joy to watch. For Motherwell, it's all about getting it right for their big date at Hamden. They've taken a couple of pace things of late. Does that have any significance, do you think, for the Cup final? Well, it could have had, because uh, you get used to those uh, big defeats, you know, and the confidence can sap. I mean, I know one or two players wanted to rest a little bit. One or two players will not want to get injured. It's a big moment getting into a Cup final. But I looked at that team and I thought, well, wait a minute, as you say, too many pace things in a row, and they didn't want that to keep on going. But the, what they wanted to aim, it was good to get a draw, but B, it was good to play much better as well. And they did play quite well in various parts of that game. So, yeah, confidence is lifted in their back end again, and they want to have a good win at the weekend.